The world wasn't ready for me to win the Super Bowl. Doug Williams, first black quarterback to start the Super Bowl, the first black quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Nobody said anything about the Redskins winning the game. It was about me being black. I got a box that was nicely wrapped. And when I opened it up, it was a rotten watermelon with, with a letter in it that's saying, throw this to the ends. They can catch this. Racist hate mail was a part of Doug Williams' daily life playing in the NFL. If you got a letter with no return address, it probably wasn't a good letter to read. Every time I got a letter with no return address, I threw it away. I hate the fact that I did not keep it today. Hands up, no shoot! If I had known what what has gone on summer with the racial injustice. Those letters probably would resonate more today than they did for me back then. The people who wrote those letters to you, if they were here, what would you say to them? It's not a lot to say to people who have done immoral things as far as writing letters, but I think if people look at the journey and look at me today and, and remember some of the things that they did back yesteryears, they would say, you know what? He ain't that bad after all. In 1988, Doug Williams saw Lombardi Trophy bring the people of Washington, D.C. together. And now, 33 years later... Hey, look, like I tell people, I wake up, I wake up in the morning, I say, damn, I know I can I stand back and throw that 15-yard out. And as soon as I roll over, I say, oh, <laughs> He hopes his life story can bring a divided country together as well. It's hard to fashion, come from where I came from, to know that we're still going through a lot of things that uh, we probably shouldn't be going through as a race. We got to keep marching forward, and I just hope that when I'm not here, somebody will take up the, the baton and keep doing it the way I was doing it.